to welcome Professor Ishay. Well, thank you. Uh, wonderful talk, Professor Graham Allison. I'm very privileged to welcome you. I was uh, one of the students, many of the students in political science who read your famous book, uh, which became an instant classic, not this one, but The Essence of Decision. Uh, it was about the crisis of the Cuban missile. It's been a while, not just yesterday. I shouldn't we really agree with that. Um, I would like, and I think it's my turn today, to reassure you, if you allow me. Please. There's no crisis in the UAE. Um, there's no up political upheaval like in the Wisconsin, um, like in Wisconsin or the American state. Uh, no, I don't see any financial crisis in the UAE, only in the States. There's no environmental catastrophe here, only in, in the Gulf of Mexico. So you are fine here. Just so, on, on a more That's serious... That's good news. <laughs> My three no doctrines. Please. <laughs> Let me just on a more serious uh, note ask one question and then turn to the, the audience. I know that there are many questions, and, and, and I'm going to just use my podium to ask the first Please. one. You have discussed uh, an approach to ensuring that nuclear power plants do not contribute to the proliferation of nuclear weapons. Do you think that the tragic events of Japan affect your thinking on the compatibility of nuclear power with international security? I know it's in the minds of many people today, so I would like to ask you this question first. So thank you, and obviously it is in everybody's mind. And th this could now become a, a whole nother lecture, Nuclear 101. So I'm going to try to only give the essence here. There's something called a nuclear power plant. I, I would say another way to think of that is a nuclear energy generator. So that's what you have, for example, in Japan. Uh, today that are at risk or what's being proposed here in or what's being started in UAE. So, and I live in Boston, uh, whatever, uh, 50 miles from Seabrook, a nuclear power plant, and my place on the Cape, I can look up and see another nuclear power plant, P Pilgrim, okay? Do I lose any sleep over living close to a nuclear power plant? No. No. So in the portfolio of ways of meeting human beings' energy demands, is nuclear one, one option and a responsible option if done well? I would say yes. Does nuclear entail risks? Of course, and we're seeing these risks in Japan today. But if I ask myself as of right now, has anybody in Japan died from the nuclear reactors and anything that's happened at, happened at them? The answer is no. And some 1,200 people for sure have died from other things, namely buildings falling down on them as the terrible tsunami or water or, or otherwise. So nuclear power plant well designed, well constructed, well operated entails risks health risks, even life risks, but so does burning coal. If I look and say how many people die from the cycle of a kilowatt hour of produced by coal, the answer is a much larger number as a statistical matter than from nuclear power plants. So that's for the power plant itself. But the risk of proliferation comes not from the nuclear power plant, but from the facility that makes the fuel for the plant, that's called the enrichment facility, like Natanz, or from the spent fuel, namely the waste that comes out of the plant, that contains a new substance called plutonium that's created in the process of the operation of the nuclear power plant, which if extracted from all the other stuff, can also fuel a bomb. So the concern, rightly, for the international community is what in the language is called the fuel cycle, which is the production of the enriched uranium going in, 
and the disposal of the waste going out. And I would say, having uh, some familiarity with the UAE program that they have developed, uh, they are basically leasing or purchasing the fuel, which is then taken away at the end of the cycle. So that in itself produces virtually no proliferation risk. So if every, as I mentioned before, if everywhere in the world people wanted to have nuclear power plants but were willing to sign up to the UAE uh, model, I would say fantastic. I put a big check by that. Given the, that the world needs energy and that there's risks associated with every other form of energy. But, so this is your, where I think your question gets its bite. In many instances, people who make a nuclear power plant, let's say Iran, say, well, I have another idea. I should make my own fuel. Well, unfortunately, the enrichment facility that makes 4 or 5% enriched uranium for fuel can just keep spinning and make 90% enriched material for a bomb. So if I have an enrichment facility that can make fuel, I'm 80% of my way to making a bomb if I decide to do that. So oftentimes it can become a, a fig leaf or a, uh, or a cover for nuclear weapons aspirations. And that's why uh, somebody like Mohammed al baradei and the IAEA have been so enthusiastic about trying to get an international fuel bank of last resort, which is something that actually Mr. Buffett put up the first 50 million uh, bucks for himself as a starter, and to which the UAE, the US government and the Japanese government and then the UAE were contributors, so that a state like Iran can't say, well, the only reason I'm producing my own fuel is because I'm afraid that the Americans are going to cut off my fuel for the plant. Actually, the IAEA will have its reserve of fuel, so they'll be able to provide fuel as a, as a last resort. I'm sorry, that's too long an answer, no, but I, it's a complicated question. I can imagine question. some follow-up questions, but I'm going to turn uh, to the audience and uh, uh, see if there are questions. Is it working? Okay, I'm John Kim of uh, KAIST. South Korea. Uh, thank you very much for your enlightening lecture. My question is this. For your doctrine of three no's to work, we will probably require a, a international cooperation of unprecedented scale and based on the total trust among the uh, nations. And I'm posing this question back to you. How likely is it that this international trust will work? Because I have seen in many cases that one or two countries will probably veer off the, uh, the, 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 the path that they were agreed to take. So that's my question. Thank you. Extremely good question. And uh, in the nuclear terrorism book, I consider that question and say uh, my, my own personal assessment is that on the current trajectory we are likely to fail. But we're not going to succeed in imposing or adopting cooperatively the three no's. So I say my own view that my bet is that within a decade, this is written now the end of 04, so this is by the end of 14, that it's more likely than not, so that was 51% likely, that somewhere in the world uh, terrorists succeed in exploding some nuclear bomb. Thank you for the amazing presentation. And my question is that at some point in the lecture you said that if Iran developed its uh, nuclear bomb, then other nations would start to develop their bomb as well. But it seems to me that it's just a matter of time until Iran develops an actual bomb. So the question is, uh, how could the international community um, prevent Iran uh, from developing its bomb? If I knew the answer to that question, uh, <laughs> I would get a prize. But uh, I would say this is the question that's been driving uh, serious national security people, uh, or, you know, keeping them awake at night. And if you, I mentioned at the beginning, uh, 
if you want to read what leaders in the region think about it, go look at this. You can you know scan the wiki uh, WikiLeaks list, and you'll see people frustrated because they first think, oh well, I got the idea. Let's do this, and then you work down two steps and you discover why that's not working. Then you think, oh, I have another idea. How about this? Then you go a few steps and this, why that's not working. Then you think, well, I have another idea. Let me try this. So nobody whom I know has a good short answer to that question. Let me just say a couple things about it for myself. I would say uh, 